like this. I was actually 35 when I got my first PC. And since then, my gaming setup has gone through many iterations. There was this neon phase, a witchy phase, the minimal because I'm broke now phase, obviously my cozy phase, to today, my I need to take my content creation seriously phase. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a a gaming room reset. It's, it's not so much of a clean and tidy as it is a complete gut. Like I have completely gutted my, like I don't know if you can see behind me, but it is, yeah. It's that, it is an absolute tip in here. I have moved everything to the center of the room and I am repainting my um, my walls. This wonderful bottle green color it's called. Um, I got it from Darnell. I know people have been asking on TikTok and on Instagram because I've been putting a few more of these kind of um, uh, shorts and um, mini videos out about my gaming room because I haven't really shown much of it in 2023. So you're going to be seeing a lot more of that type of content going forwards because I, I think it's really important to create like a cozy space somewhere that you feel like comfortable and can just completely crash in at the end of the day. And for me also working because I need, I need a clean, um, space to write and not feel like I'm like my eyes are being drawn to a million one different cluttered things. I mean, I love maximalism, but there has to be a reason behind um, every item that I place, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's like it's not just there for um, the sake of being there in order to you know, for aesthetics, really. It's like, I need things that are meaningful around around me in order to help me focus. And so I'm gonna um, completely redo this room. And today I've just got to finish the painting around the window because that is a bit patchy. So when I finished it last night, it was really quite late. Right now, um, I'm trying to set up my um, speakers that I just got, my Edifer speakers. Was, that is right, isn't it? Edifer R1280, all the numbers, zero T, <laughs> zero um, uh, T rather. And um, I was just trying to work out where everything's gonna go because I literally have no idea where I'm gonna put anything. Second of all, <laughs> if anybody's thinking of getting the Edifier speakers, not Edifer, Edifier speakers. This came in the box, yeah? So I'm gonna show you what to do with it. So just turn your speakers over and you'll see on the back here, you've got all like the connection ports and that, yeah? And you've got this beautiful little thing. And I was like, what the hell is that? It doesn't even have a plug like to plug anything in. What am I meant to do with this? So you're meant to take these wiry ends there and plug them in these holes here. Actually, one more thing, because I just have to show you how freaking adorable this is. This is the remote control for the Edifier speakers. How cute is this? Oh my God, it is so tiny, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> 
So this was my monitor arm and it had these two very static, I don't know if you can see that, let me bring it closer to the camera. It's very static, so I could only really move my monitors left and right and backwards and forwards. Um, if I wanted to move them up and down, I'd constantly have to um, adjust this and move it up and down. However, um, because I've got my monitor right next to the wall, this kept bashing against the wall and I couldn't have them exactly how I wanted them. So I bought these the gas spring monitor mounts and I've got two of them. So this is going to be fun to put together because <laughs> I've decided that I no longer, I no longer want to have my um, vertical monitor. So I'm going to put it back to being horizontal. The reason for that is because I multi-stream now on um, Twitch and TikTok and also to YouTube as well. I use like Restream and I found like obviously I've, I've got OBS and also TikTok's um, own platform open at the same time. And I, it's difficult to have them both on a vertical monitor and read chat <laughs> and play my game on my other monitor. So I've decided that I need a horizontal monitor so I can actually see more <laughs> of my um, desktop basically. So let's get that all set up. <laughs> My cozy gaming desk setup is finally complete. I can now sit down and play my games without having to look at all of that dust. <laughs> there was so much dust. <laughs> I've always had a thing for wood and just natural aesthetics. My desk is only tiny, so I really do need to keep it as clutter free for as long as possible. I finally have my first ever set of speakers to go with my first ever PC that I got four years ago. <laughs> I still have the same tower and the same monitors. However, I would like to upgrade my monitors very, very soon. But I now have these gorgeous, gorgeous speakers and they just are so in keeping with the rest of my aesthetic. Literally, I am sitting here and as soon as I've sat down, I'm I'm nitpicking and I'm finding things that I already want to change. There's a wire hanging down that I just noticed I didn't notice before that needs to move. And there's as soon as I turn the light on, I've got a shadow casting on my face from where the mic is. And I'm, yeah, the, the back, don't even get me started on the background. I'm just honestly exhausted. I've got to the end of the day and I'm like... Why did I start? Because <laughs> it, it doesn't actually feel like much has changed. <laughs> Other than the fact that my monitors are on different arms and one of them's no longer uh, no longer vertical and I've got some new speakers, a new keyboard and a mouse and desk mat. Nothing else has really changed. I've touched up some paint, <laughs> spilt some paint on my floor, <laughs> spilt paint on me. <laughs> And it's taken me a entire day, an entire day. I could, could have probably been playing some video games. 